The fairer sex is your department, said the man of brain, not heart. For Watson's trade with women spans cross seven seas and many lands. But what of Sherlock said it straight, he surely wasn't celibate. Here's proof that women sealed their fate in bed with Sherlock Holmes. As early as study in Scarlet, Holmes cavorted oft with harlots, long as libido allowed, right up until his final bow. And what of Watson's many wives? What were there, three or four or five? It's even odds they'd gladly dive in bed with Sherlock Holmes. What of Martha Hudson? She was Holmes and Watson's landlady. With beef and spuds and corn and peas, not just in food she aims to please. For certain, here's another one. Tis Aggie, made to Milverton. By all accounts, she had some fun in bed with Sherlock Holmes. And now the woman, as she's called by many fellows, she'd been enthralled. She caused a bohemian scandal, to her none could hold a candle. The daintiest thing ever seen beneath the bonnet was Irene, and Nero is the proof she'd been in bed with Sherlock Holmes. Victorian times forced Watson to conceal details considered blue, but now the whole truth out may come. The engineer lost not his thumb, and what, pray tell me if you can, was crooked on the crooked man. The second stain sure wasn't jam in bed with Sherlock Holmes. I fear the tale now turns profane, the love that dare not speak its name, the Greek interpreter, and then Black Peter, and the dancing men. And what of Watson, John M.D., a straight and narrow fellow he, not on your life, he longs to be in bed with Sherlock Holmes. That almost covers everything, just one more bombshell when I sing, that even Toby had a fling in bed with Sherlock Holmes. The bedroom at 221B did see a strange variety, Chris Red and says we long to be in bed with Sherlock Holmes, but only reading in bed with Sherlock Holmes.